Hey everybody, back with a new episode of Timeless. Last episode, getting into this new season, we had Lucy off with her mom and Emma, apparently rescuing or bringing Lucy's great-great-grandfather to the present for some reason. Not sure why, but you know, we met Mary Curry and her daughter and Wyatt and Rufus met up with her and because you know they thought she was dead she thought they were dead and so at least they're back together now but we found out that Rittenhouse has been sending out sleeper agents to all different time periods just waiting for them to do whatever they need them to so this is just I don't know how you combat this when it, it how long have they been doing this? How many are there? Ugh, it seems like so much to overcome, but you know, they're pretty desperate because Denise went to go get Flynn. And uh, I don't know what that's gonna mean, but it, may, it, it seems like what the necessary step was because we kind of always knew we were gonna get here. And I'm sure he's still not happy with Lucy, even though she wasn't the reason he got arrested. So I'm excited to see them work together, what that's going to look like. Lucy and Wyatt almost kissed. And, you know, Gia is still chilling with her blood from the nose. So I don't know. Things are kind of a mess, but I'm excited to get back into it. So let's do it. Oh, and this episode's called Darlington 500. So Darlington's a town. Turn three's got a weird camera to it. A good place to pass. It's a race? Jimmy or Wendell makes a run on me. Quit your worrying. Not worrying. Planning. I didn't realize I was married. Two caskets instead of one. Three kind of the bun in the oven. <gasps> Emma! Oh, God. Why is that what you're seeing? Yeah. What if they're looking for someone? before they became important. So then what? You just pick a direction, start walking? I have an idea. I mean, you're gonna hate it, but we do have someone who could help us, who knows more about Rittenhouse than we do. Glenn. He's a psycho. Number two, he's a total psycho. And number three, he thinks he's in jail because we set him up. Well, we did set him up. More you than us, but yeah. <laughs> Who's coming? He's unhinged. You can't trust a word he says. Okay, well, if anyone I mean, he's idea, not really unhinged. Say it. He's very focused. He just has, you know, no limits. I'll do whatever it takes now. Really? Ooh. What? You're gonna kill your own mother. You need to have limits. Your hero. But not that one. Kill your mom. She sucks. You. There was a South Carolina address on a written house agent that I killed. The next one will cost you. Yeah. You're gonna have to let him out. These clothes are from Old Navy. Yeah, and the badge looks like it's from the 99 cent store. <laughs> yes, wardrobe and props are of necessity. A little bare bones for the moment. Just <laughs> financial constraints, but hey, luckily for you, Rebel Without a Cause made jeans and t-shirts perpetually cool. We blend right in. What did you find out about 145 Classic. Street? Just a house. He wins the first Daytona 559. He's up there with guys like Lee Petty and Junior Johnson and Tim Flock. Oh. You guys really are coastal, Louise. Why would Rittenhouse <laughs> Relax. be a NASCAR driver in the 50s? We've uh, followed your writings to the T, planted sleeper agents in different decades. That's a 49 Ford sedan. What a nerd. 48 Ford Super Deluxe with an N96. What? Nothing. Just didn't realize you were such a stone cold nerd. <laughs> right? Yeah, me neither. So, what do you think Rittenhouse wants with the race? Excuse me, boy. Oh, God, here Sorry. we go. Excuse me. Uh, 1955 in the South. Not exactly a prime place for black folk. Oh, shit. Tell that to him. That's Wendell Scott. And you saw the police roadblocks. You threw it into reverse. Took a hairpin turn backwards at 70 miles an hour. <laughs> Look at him, he's geeking out. Lunch. Is that moonshine? Just your appreciation, which did fuck. <laughs> what are you gonna do with all that moonshine? <laughs> Come on. We don't want any moonshine. We just want to know if you know it's a lot. who Ryan Miller is. Everybody knows who Ryan Miller is. Oh. Can you introduce us? Sure. Rufus. 
We should hit the track sometime. You have no idea how amazing it is you're asking me to do this. <laughs> I'll be here. There okay. we go. You did That's it. <laughs> Gonna catch on at some point, so you know you'll be a trendsetter. Y'all think I'm thick? They ain't gonna call no race for a black man. Sure as hell won't give me no trophy. Still doesn't mean you didn't win. I wanna race and be the best. No more wisdom behind it than that. Uh -huh. if they don't like it, screw them. I really like him. Yeah, Gia, you need to say something. <gasps> Sir, you need to come with us now. Denise. Get your hands off me. You know who I am. He Connor wasn't Mason playing. And under arrest for conspiracy to commit fraud and aiding and abetting an enemy of the state. Without his writings, we wouldn't be here. Where is here exactly? Is your aloof younger grandfather ready to lead, or is he still asking for pickled eggs? What? It's a map. Don't call it that. A map is for explorers. Now it's time to begin preserving human culture. Taking what's best of us and subtracting and sloughing away the worst. Shape Sounds like some eugenic bullshit. Away the rock that is the human race until it resembles something like Michelangelo's David. Oh, you're all in now? Okay, so we're seeing why they brought that guy back. He definitely has a vision. It's an evil vision, but it is a vision. So that's not great. And Flynn did give us this one, but we are going to have to go to him again. And that means getting him out. It's a matter of time. I, I really like this episode, the vibe of it. Uh, Wendell was great and I loved uh, everything between he and Rufus and he and um, Wyatt. I, I, I liked uh, knowing more about Wyatt's backstory and that he was like really geeky about racing and the shit with his dad. It was very relatable for Lucy coming to terms of just who her mother has always been, which is tough. And uh, Wendell and Rufus kind of understanding each other in a way that only they can outside of Wyatt and Lucy because uh, even in present day, you know that Rufus has had to deal with some racist bullshit and it was even worse for Wendell back then, but it never seems to get him down. He doesn't. I'm sure he cares that he, um, he doesn't get the glory of the win, but he knows they're be he's better than them. So I, I like that that's what drives him. And to even parallel that to Connor, who was doing this really egotistical thing, even someone as successful as him, he's still got to deal with the bullshit and having to prove himself over and over again. So I like what they did there, but Denise was not playing. <laughs> she came and got his ass. So that was interesting. And oh my goodness, Gia, she saw his burn before it happened. She is flipping through time in a way that she definitely cannot control and is hurting her, it seems. So that, I hope she tells Rufus about it sooner rather than later, because what if it gets worse? It seems like it might be getting worse. So that sucks. And you know, uh, why and Lucy almost kissed again interrupted they wait to the worst possible time they just need to do it you only only got a few episodes left so I, I'm excited for what comes next because why uh Flynn is definitely up to bat because now that Rittenhouse is going after players that aren't even like historically known in a way that they can track um they're going to need more help and uh, Flynn is definitely going to be that person for them. So they're just going to have to bite the bullet and do it. I know he is, uh, he, he will and has let himself go too far, but a uh, written house is some great ass evil and they need to destroy it including Lucy's mother and fucking Emma who sucks. It was interesting to have that, 
sleeper agent actually adapt to the, his life and uh, kind of question his loyalty to Rittenhouse, which I'm sure happens because however long they're there, you kind of just make your way in the world and fell in love and had a kid on the way. So yeah, that is a, an interesting aspect to what they are dealing with. And Emma was willing to just do whatever. She is like way worse than I ever thought she was, but I'm excited for what they do now because once Flynn gets involved, it's going to be a different ball game. And uh, having him on our side while also him being a wild card is going to be interesting to see them navigate that. And I'm, I'm very curious to see that. So yeah, this was a good episode. I really liked Wendell a lot. And uh, just the story and what they were doing and what they were saying was uh, really, it really resonated for me. So I enjoyed that a lot. So thanks for watching guys. I'll be back soon.